Welcome everyone to How to Hack Lesson Number Two. Uh, this episode is all about obscure security and there is a uh, challenge at the end uh, which is it's a fun one this one uh, to get through so definitely get through the whole thing um, also I will be giving away prizes to the first couple of people maybe three or four people who get through it um, which I will announce in the next video so in the CTF we're going to be using binary ROT 13 same as last video uh, and we're also going to be covering some basic network loopback uh, principles uh, however most of this video is focusing on obscurities uh, it's all about obscure security so keep listening and uh, I'll, I'll give you the details uh, now, I'm going to put some links in the description for any online tools you might need um, to get through it, but most of it is obscure, so you're going to have to use your brain. Um, where you need to start is at the end of the last session, uh, which would have brought you to cybersecguidance.com forward slash ctf hyphen one. There is a hidden code on that page which I'm not going to tell you how to find it but once you find it uh, you're going to need to use the following uh, code or languages I guess to uh, convert that and follow the bouncing ball along to eventually get to the last page without giving away too much uh, information in this hint the hint is that the answer lies within a coded file name text string. Um, and you're going to have to use decoding methods that I taught you in the previous video to decode that message and eventually get to the last page. Um, it's not a very long CTF, it's, it's a pretty short one, but um, yeah, it teaches you a little bit about obscurities and um, how that can work in a very basic way. Now there's no need to uh, go through any source codes. So that's, I guess, another hint. Don't bother with the source code because you won't find any of the answers there. Um, also don't brute force my website, please, because um, that, that's not gonna get you any good results either. So moving on to a little bit of information. What is obscure security? In security engineering, security through obscurity is the reliance on the secrecy of the design or implementation as the main method of providing security for a system or component of a system. Right now, these are all very important things that you need to know to be able to get through this challenge. Uh, what is binary? A binary code represents text, computer processor instructions or any other data using a two symbol system. The two symbol system used is often the binary numbers uh, systems 0 and 1. I'm sure you already knew that. If you didn't, welcome. <laughs> the binary code assigns a pattern of binary digits, also known as bits, to each character, instruction, etc. For example, a binary string of 8 bits can represent any of 256 possibilities and can therefore represent a wide variety of different items. Lastly, on the list of things you need to know, what is 127.0.0.1? 127.0.0.1 is an IPv4 address called a local host or loopback address. This means that if you try to connect to 127.0.0.1, you are immediately looped back to your own machine. Or in other words, you go home. Okay, so that's that's it. I wish you all good luck with this challenge. And um, again, for those who completed all the way through, don't forget to send me a screenshot on Twitter or uh, Instagram. And um, yeah, I'll give you a prize for the first few people to get through. Uh, if you do get stuck, don't uh, 
please leave a uh, comment below and I'll, I'll try and help you out without being too obvious but this is a very basic CTF so you should be able to get through fairly easily. Please, please, please don't comment below the answers uh, or how you got through it um, because I do want other people to enjoy this video and um, potentially you know, try it out for themselves as well. Uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more of these videos. I'm going to be posting a lot more of these CTFs coming up as well as the usual Hacker News series and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace.